Hi everyone, um, I want to work on my junk journal for Art Journal Prompts. Um, I put a video up um, last week where I said I'd be working on a journal, um, junk journal, where we'd put magazine images um, and um, store it in various signatures, where we'd have a signature for focal images, we'd have um, a separate signature for backgrounds, um, we could have a separate pocket for embellishments and then you know a separate signature for quotes and inspirational words and that kind of thing. Um, I said that I would be using this to store it in and I've changed my mind because um, having played around with it today this just is not going to be big enough. So I've grabbed a different cereal box. Um, it's not decorated yet, and I've also strengthened it and um, made a few alterations to it already. Um, this is a Crunchy Nut Cornflake box. It's one of the large ones. Does it say what size it is? No, it doesn't. In fact, I've probably gone over it with the um, duct tape. Um, but I've just cut, um, you know, the, the three sides here. And then I've used a piece of mount board just to strengthen the, the spine and I've glued it onto the inside and then I've gone over it with um, some duct tape just so that it's got a bit of structure because I'm adding, I'm using these hair bands, these elastic bands, let me show you what they look like, they're the large size here um, to hold my signatures. Nothing's going to be bound in with this because we need to be able to remove the pages easily to use in our journals. Um, but this is what I'm going to be using for, this is just A3 paper folded in half. Um, and this is what I will be using for my inspirational words so um, you know and quotes and things and I shall cut them out of the magazine and then I shall glue it onto here um, bear in mind as well that you will only want to glue it to one side because if you're going to cut these out to use in your journals at um, a later date you don't want to find that you've got something on the on the back and um, you're losing that so it'll be one side only um, and I can add more pages to this as and when I run out and then I've added a pocket here to store focal images just because you know I'll be cutting focal images um, out um, and so I need something to store them in and this is the inside of um, a cereal box and um, I've grabbed two of them and just glued them together or taped them together with washi tape so let me just show you what um, I've done there hang on let me just put that on the floor a minute so these are so that's what um, the cereal was was stored in, and so I've grabbed two of these, and I've just taped them on three sides with with washi tape, and then of course folded it in half, and um, and then I've got two pockets there to use um, for focal images. Now last week I showed you some Daphne's Diary and Flow magazine and there were a lot of comments from people saying well you know I love those magazines but I don't have any of those and don't worry about it do not go out and, and buy Daphne's Diary and Flow and all of those kind of things because you know they're, they're, they're quite expensive. Daphne's Diary is one of the cheap ones this is 5 99 here in the UK um, whereas Flow I think is 9 99 so this is um, cheaper. Um, but I've just grabbed a load of other magazines. Let me just check that I am in frame. This is the magazine out of the Sunday Times magazine. Um, and just to give you an idea, I've gone through it. Um, and there are only a couple of focal images that I could use here. But I mean, just this tree here with the little cat. Um, and I've got some of these frames as well that I've cut out. I've cut some out with my die cutting machine because these are really useful for going through and seeing if, you know, something will will work um, in, in your journal pages or for cards even. And, and look at that. I mean, I could cut that out there and stick that onto a card and, and that would look really cute. And, and this one here, again, I could cut that one out um, and that would look really nice on a card as well. And then... Um, there was another image that I liked here, this bird image here that I shall cut out. So that's just out of the Sunday Times magazine. Um, this is also out of the Sunday Times. This is the food um, section. And there were um, some images here. I mean, look at this. 
Look at these ladies. I mean, those are just really cute, aren't they? So again, you know, these can be used as, as focal images. I just think those are perfect. So I will be saving those. I don't think there was anything else in that particular one that um, I found that I would want to use. Um, again, this is out of the Sunday Times. This is all out of the same edition of the Sunday Times, by the way. Um, this is the Style magazine and I just love those lips. So um, have I got, let's have a look. I haven't got anything big enough really, but I just love, love those glittery lips. So I will be cutting um, those out. I don't know what I shall use them for yet, but um, you know, and maybe some of these you could, you could cut out quite like, like that there. Um, maybe the lion um, what else have we got um, if you're into sort of like the packer die style art um, there's fantastic um, images here of, of girls ladies um, really like that one there um, you know in some, some of these but I think what I wanted to say as well is that you have to be honest um, about your style there is absolutely no point sort of cutting something out of these magazines if you know that you are not going to use it my style is quite whimsical um, and so you know there, there are images throughout these magazines that I know other people would use but I personally wouldn't um, again um, this here could be um, used um, Catherine Howard um, what else have we got um, you know this would make um, a great piece for if you were doing a Japanese style um, page I really like that what else have we we got um, there was another one as well oh this this eye I really like this this eye um, so I think I will be saving that again I don't know what I will use it for but I just really like like that um, and then I've got this magazine here. This um, is an Air France magazine that Steve picked up for me on, on his travels. Um, and again, I just really like this quirky little image here. This is, um, what is it? Presidio, slow, slow food. Um, but again, you know, that could look really cute on a card or something. What else did I highlight? Um, I really love those glasses, so I shall cut that out. I shan't cut out the whole face, I just like the glasses. I think that's quite um, quirky and fun. Um, can be used in collage. I love the way that Maggie Lockley does her collage, and I must try it more. Um, I love um, that image there. I just think that's um, really gorgeous, so I should be cutting that out. Um, this image here, I really like that. Um, you know maybe these these rings could be could be used for something and again sort of you know if you cut out some of these then you can sort of place them on and see what they look like just in a in a small piece I find this really useful to do it this this way um, and then this particular page here I should be cutting out because that would make um, a great great background um, also here we go what have we got here um, inspiration magazine this was a freebie magazine that um, I picked up from one of the shops locally um, and again there's just absolutely fantastic images I haven't gone through this one yet but fantastic images um, in these and as I say this is just um, I mean look at that lobster I mean I just absolutely love love that um, let's have a quick flick through and see. So it doesn't have to be Flow Flow magazine. Just have a look what you can pick up. Hotels, I mean, I love that. That's really, really cool. And again, you know, you could do, go through these and, and have a look at the typefaces. Um, you, some of the words... Um, you, you can use as well so so there we go but I'm going to go through my Daphne's diary today and we'll sort of try and make some progress Daphne's diary is my style because it's whimsical and quirky so that's what um, I'm going to do today so Daphne's well, diary I've actually got quite um, a lot of, of things to use just from um, a few of the Sunday Times magazines and one edition of Daphne's diary um, but first of all let me just move that out of the way um, for a second because in many of the Daphne's diary editions um, I've chopped mine up now and um, and really I should have shown you as I was going 
going along, but the video footage was just too long. It just wasn't workable. Um, but they have various pages like, like this where you can cut out circles to make um, embellishments. This one here is to make a summer ball. Um, but the addition that I cut up um, had a similar thing, but you made, um, you could make some flower embellishments. So I chopped the circles. Instead of cutting them, I actually used my um, punch. And I've got these and then I've just scrunched them, scrunched them up um, like so to give them a bit of um, texture. So I've got these and then I've inked around the edges. So I've got those. And then the instruction page as well. I cut around the circles on the instruction page and I actually like these better. Um, so this little pack of embellishments I'm storing um, in just a clear plastic bag so that they're all in one place. And I'm going to keep these um, in the concertina file folder that you saw me make the other day. I'll leave a link to this particular video in the description box below for anyone who hasn't seen it. So I'm going to keep embellishments in there. And um, so then, just to go through, let me just check that... Um, You've got a good view of that, right, that'll do. Um, and then this is, is my folder. So I've got one, two, three, four, five signatures um, at the moment. And at the front, um, I've just got bits and pieces of paper. There was a coloring book supplement in the one that I cut up. And so I've kept various pages of, of those. Some of them I've, I can use for focal images, but some will just make really lovely um, background pages if I sort of, you know, tear them, tear them up. So I've got a section um, of those. Um, then scattered throughout most editions of Daphne's Diary, I won't be able to find one now, but there's lots of um, poems and um, inspirational pages. Um, Let's have a look. Is that one there? Like this. Um, and I think I sort of cut out four or five of, of those from, from this particular edition. And I'm keeping them in this cereal bag um, folder at the front. So have a sweet spring. Life is a box of colours. Um, a poem about today. And again, the reason I'm keeping these is that, you know, some of them I might be able to cut out sentences from these to use in my journal pages. All day I think of tomorrow, for instance. Um, doing something nice with you, no stress, just taking it slow, um, and um, and you know they're, they're just nice, nice to read. I could use this as an image if I wanted to, and pick out a few of the words. So I've kept um, those, and I'm just keeping those in the in the front here, um, and then where I've cut out my images as well. Um, I've ended up with sort of quite um, a few pretty scrapbooking pages, just little little pieces, and they all coordinate really well. Um, so these are just great for, for layering and again for, for collage because the colours all work so, so nicely together. So I've, I've kept um, some of those, so I'm keeping those in the other side of the pocket. That's the bits left over from where I cut out flower embellishments and I don't know why I kept those but um, that I did. Any sensible person would probably have thrown them away but not me. <laughs> um, and then these are the image that, images that um, I've decided to, to cut up. Um, on one of the colouring pages there was an image of a ballerina so I cut her up and originally I thought she would go on the background of the envelope that Dee gave me in my happy mail um, but as I was looking at the envelope I suddenly saw a bird and so I drew my bird on the envelope so again that's another um, focal piece that I'll be able to use so I grabbed a couple more background pages in purples that I thought might go well with the, the ballerina so at least those are, are together. It's just kind of trying to keep it in an inspirational way for me. Um, there was an image of the of three three quirky birds which I really liked so I've kept that. Um, this was the image that I showed you from the Sunday Times supplement so I've cut out, cut out all these pieces and I've just, just layered them. Um, I've used a really cheap glue stick to just glue this down to A3 shaped sheets of paper which I folded over. Um, I find that the cheap glue sticks are not all that sticky so these should be really easy to, to peel off when um, I come to use them at a later date. Um, there were also some um, text words that I thought went quite well with this so I decided to keep those. Spring in to a new you, um, a new leaf of life. Um, there was an image on the, I think it was the inside cover of this particular edition of a box of crayons and then later on in the magazine I found some pencil sharpening so um, I've layered those two together which I thought would make a fun um, journal page. 
um, stack of teacups in the colouring book supplement. Um, there were lots of birds. There was a whole sheet of bird stickers, which I've just um, cut out um, here. So those can just be peeled off as, as, and, as and when. Um, and then there was um, a page right opposite as well with the same um, images. So I've cut those out. And there were various bird images throughout the magazine. This one was actually from the Sunday Times um, supplement. So I've blocked all of those together. Um, these birds here were from the colouring book supplement and this was from the inside cover which I thought you know with a bird punched on would would make a really nice focal piece. Um, this is the lobster that was in one of the magazines that I showed you. These two images were from Daphne's diary and I just thought they were pretty so I cut them out. Um, this was from one of the magazines and I just thought it went really well with the image of this this girl. Um, those were the eyes that I showed you out of, I think that was the TV supplement of the, the Sunday Times newspaper. Um, an image of Catherine Howard here um, from the cultural section and then these are all images from Daphne's um, diary. In fact this one was from I think the um, one of the magazines I showed you. This here was on the artist loft paints that Linda Cooper Pierce gave me, gave me and I thought gessoed and painted um, I could do something with that. Um, these are all images from the magazines that I showed you, um, as, are, as are these. Um, and then what have I got? That was the Japanese style page. Then what have I got? Um, some more out of Daphne's diary. Those were the black and white images and I just thought those blocked together would look really nice. Um, another page out of the colouring book supplement. I like these hearts. I could see this heart um, as a focal image. Um, and I'm sure I could do something with, with these as well, so I kept those. I really like this image of the, the pram, um, and this was just a, a background sheet that I thought looked quite nice with it, so I don't know. Um, and then these were some um, pages out of the sewing book, um, the, the colouring book supplement again, all with a sewing theme, so I, so I kept those and put those together. Um, and then I've got this section here that um, I wanted doodle images. I kept these, which I thought all oh, were sort of, you know, good good for doodling. I can either use them for the patterns or glue them um, onto my pages as well and incorporate those into, you know, some of my um, doodle days backgrounds. And then finally, um, most of these are out of Daphne's diary, although they, these words here, this is just a collection of words and, and numbers here. These were out of a Costco magazine that arrived yesterday. Um, and so I like this sprinkle awesome and pop so I cut those out and then these words are out of Daphne's diary so I've just cut those out and again just glued them loosely using that glue stick so that um, I can peel those off and, um, and use them again um, and then some, some more words there um, and then there are some numbers somewhere oh here we go there were some numbers as well that I thought be, um, might be quite useful to keep so from one edition of Daphne's Diary and a couple of you know newspapers all in one week I've amassed quite a collection of things that I will be able to use in my journal pages um, so I hope that that was um, useful to you. I'm open to any ideas as to how people think that I could um, organise th this better. I've not done this kind of thing before. So, you know, we're all in this and doing this together. So I'm open, you know, to any tips and advice that you can sort of throw my way. I'll be decorating my journal cover at some stage as well because it just looks a bit boring, doesn't it, like this? But let me know what you think about this. Give me a thumbs up if you're finding this useful. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And take care, everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.